Oh, you you don't want trans men in the men's restroom? Okay then. I'm a transgender man, which means I was assigned female at birth but am transitioning to a man. I've been on testosterone for about six months, and as a result, I have a deeper voice, facial hair, an Adam's apple, and generally just look like a teenage boy which is fine since I'm still 19 I rarely if ever get misgendered because I'm super tall, and most people don't even clock me as trans to begin with. I've been working at my current workplace for about a year, long after I came out of the closet. My job heavily relies on me using experience as an ex-homeless queer youth to advocate for educational materials and humanitarian funding, so everyone is quite aware of the fact that I am trans, and most people are very kind and accepting, including both my bosses, who are wonderful ladies and have gone out of their ways to create an inclusive space for everyone. However, I ran into a small issue. A female co-worker of mine didn't take kindly to me using the men's restroom, she brought it up with my boss after she saw me walk in one day. She said it made her uncomfortable, and that it was inappropriate for a girl to be in there. Okay, we'll play this game. My boss and I laughed about it, and she wanted to take action against the co-worker that complained, but I figured there was a better way to handle this than letting some poor old lady lose her job in this economy. So, I started using the ladies' room again. Tenor voice, facial hair and all, in my semi-formal work attire slacks, but an up shirt, and blazer, usually co-worker walks in with one of her friends that usually brings her lunch but doesn't work there, around the time in washing my hands, and her friend audibly gasps and backs out of the room. Co-worker gives me a look then follows her friend. I leave without further incident. The next day at work, my boss comes into my office obviously stifling laughter. Co-worker's friend had gone directly to the director in our building to report a creepy man in the men's co-worker then had to explain to the director as to why the token trans kid had to use the ladies' room to begin with, and was required to send me a very edifying apology email with the promise to cease all forms of harassment. She's not made eye contact with me since, and I've been able to shit in peace for the last couple weeks lmao. The moral of the story if you hate letting trans men use the men's room, be prepared for some big hairy guys in the ladies' room, cause surprise some of us look like big hairy dudes it may not be a massive or clever story, but I thought it was hilarious and ended quite well. I am a woman. I used to be a truck driver. Only about five of truckers are women. In a lot of places we would pick up or deliver they have a trucker's bathroom. It is generally a large, unlockable restroom with an open row of urinals. It was a 50-50 split on whether the generally female office employees would insist on me using the trucker bathroom with the dudes or would let me use the women's restroom that they used. I often wonder where those women who insisted I use the open restroom with the guys stand on the whole bathroom issue. I bet it is on the hypocritical side. I don't get why they had an issue with you using the men's room to begin with, especially if they used the other one. It literally had nothing to do with them, had no impact on their bathroom activities. In fact it freed up bathroom space, unless they were just lonely and wanted the company shrug medium light skin tone emoji modifier hashtag hash. Strikes me that co-worker isn't exactly the greatest fit culturally in your organization. Long-time employer, so from that perspective it doesn't matter where you shit, or what you have in your pants, just be good at your job and don't piss people off so they will do their jobs. I have found in the 30 years of being an employer the ones that complain the loudest do the least work. Complaining constantly takes up a bunch of time. Why would this woman care about a trans man using the men's room? Like, she's not in there, what about that could possibly make her uncomfortable? Some people really need to mind their own business. I don't get why businesses still build using gendered stalls. Why not just install full walls between each one and make them all gender free? Just replace the stupid boy girl signs with one that says toilet dot is there some complication to this I am missing that makes it hard? I'm fascinated to learn that apparently taking testosterone gives you an Adam's apple. Learn something new every day. She felt uncomfortable because you are using a different bathroom than her? How does that make sense? Honestly I've always thought bathrooms should be divided into one for poop and one for pee, but maybe that's just me.
I don't understand how it made her uncomfortable that you were going into the men's room that she can't go in herself. Like, she's uncomfortable that you're not sharing the ladies' room with her? WTF? Jesus. You're not dropping a deuce on the floor what the fuck else do they want? A small typo here. To report a creepy man in the men's restroom, me. Should that be women's restroom? Bathrooms should have been unisex from the beginning, there are bigger problems to worry about than someone's delicate sensibilities. At my old job we had a trans woman hadn't started transitioning but we called her by her chosen name and pronouns she wanted the females never cared about her using the female toilets although a little annoying when she left the seat up rolling on the floor laughing but the men seemed to have issues and one of them asked me if I thought it was okay for her to do that, I told him we don't care, she's not hurting anyone and at the end of the day using the toilet is a basic human right, he got quiet real quick we he. Realized I didn't have the same views as him. I love that lol, the first time my partner knew she really passed in public was when she was in boy mode at a fancy restaurant and some employee there saw her going into the man's restroom and basically ran over to her saying miss that's the man's restroom the ladies is over here apparently he looked super happy to save her from the embarrassment as well. You're a man. You belong in the men's restroom. I'm a CIS woman and 59. Why do people think you're some weird threat? I mean I, no, but it's so weird to worry about this. Identify as a woman? The biggest threat from me is talking to you while you're in the next stall about the weather. Which is bad behavior on my part. Found out a co-worker was trans when a group us bearded types were talking beards in the break room. I complimented him for his thick beard. Oh, this is the result of a couple of years of testosterone shots. You didn't know I was trans? That is hilarious. But in all seriousness, this underscores the fact that we need non-segregated bathrooms. The uniform building code needs to be amended so that a minimum of 50 of toilets are in non-segregated bathrooms. This is a critical issue for the non-binary and for families too. I will never understand the obsession some people have with what's in someone else's underpants. It is none of your damn business. Not sure if other commenters have pointed it out yet but how in the fuck is someone that works for advocation of queer people i.e. trans rights going to be putting up a stink like that loudly crying face loudly crying face I guess I find it extra insane ha ha. My comment may seem strange? But the main impression I get from your post is how comfortable you are with yourself. Kudos on you for that, bro. So glad for you. Shitting in peace one. Shitty Employee Zero. A well-played game, OP. I am so sorry you have to deal with this shit. Not like it would cure bigotry, but I wish new construction had to install gender-neutral bathrooms with private stalls and communal sinks, and there were laws also setting a deadline for retrofits. Really small places with single men's women's rooms just need to change door signage, anyway. Gendered bathrooms cause headaches for so many people for various reasons. It would at least be one last place for you to be othered by asshats. To report a creepy man in the men's. Should that say to report a creepy man in the women's? Our workplace has inclusive bathrooms for anyone to use. They have a small central lobby with four separate small rooms leading off it. Nobody gets to see anyone else except passing through the lobby. Some people still objected. They were basically told to F.O. Thank you for being a class act and resolving the situation without going after the woman's job and giving her that teaching moment instead. You're a rock star. What? She had complaints about you not even using her allocated bathroom? That's several levels not minding one's own business. I was about to say that this is the first time I've heard about men freaking out about trans men, but then I read the post. WTF. I always thought it was about women feeling vulnerable around perceived men in remote locations, which at least has an understandable root in reality. I cannot fathom her reasoning for insisting you use the women's room. Kinda sounds like I don't accept your lifestyle, and I demand the chance to smell your farts. 
The problem isn't she wants you in a specific bathroom, she would prefer if people like you didn't exist at all s.